Hello, 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 everybody. This is Tony, CEO, founder of Channel Chicago Rental. Just making another video for my YouTube channel. Uh, this video I'm going to talk about Turo, and I'm going to talk about is get, getting a Polaris slingshot worth it to run out on Turo. For those of you guys who don't know what it is, um, this is a slingshot. Okay, so this right here is uh, basically like a three-wheel motorcycle. Uh, they call it a tricycle. Uh, but this is the slingshot, y'all. And it's very popular, very fun to drive. A lot of people like this. A lot of people like to rent them, especially depending on what market you're in, what area you're in, okay? So I actually have one, and I'm gonna talk about it, and I'm gonna show you guys my numbers, and show you guys, is it worth it to get a slingshot, okay? So first off, um, like I said, this is a 2022 um, Polaris slingshot. It's actually the SL, so it's like right in the middle um, as far as the different trims. Um, this also is an automatic transmission. You can see right here, you know, it has an automatic transmission, automatic. They was manuals, but now they make automatics the last two years. Um, it's fully loaded, so it has all the bells and whistles, a backup camera, navigation, Bluetooth. Uh, fully loaded. You know, got the premium seats right here. Um, got the vignette hood, um, black and orange, custom paint job. So uh, this lane shot is pretty much, I bought it brand new with zero miles. And it's fully loaded and i paid a little bit over 30k uh for this vehicle so it's almost the price of a car okay um interest rate was a little high because you know i had a lot of vehicles already in my personal name so the only person got me approved was a pretty high interest rate so my car payment is like 570 dollars a month um, for this so almost 600 dollars and i paid like i said uh, a little bit over thirty thousand dollars um for this lane shot i did a six year a six year uh, uh loan uh, think about like an eight nine percent interest rate okay for the slingshot now now you guys probably weren't wondering uh is it worth it you know how much money do i make from this it is it worth it is it a good investment and i'm going to answer that question um in, in this video so just stay tuned so the first thing is i'm going to go ahead and show you guys my earnings from turo so you guys can kind of see so last year when i first got the slingshot um that's how much i made last year for the slingshot so i made uh fifty seven hundred dollars in uh 2022 in about you know six months when i first got it i made twenty one hundred dollars in june so very very popular made a lot of money um i had some mechanical issues so i only made like 780 in july and then uh august i made 990s almost a grand uh 900 in september october 495 and then november 378 and of course didn't make anything in december because it was cold the weather stuff like that so, okay so that's 2022 now let's go ahead and change this to this year kind of see how i'm doing this year with the slingshot. shot so this year i've already made almost five thousand dollars 48 48 55 okay so you can see um had some really good months you know june made 450 dollars in june uh may i made a thousand and ninety dollars like three dollars uh, april uh, april a really good month spring break so i get warm i made seventeen hundred dollars in april okay march and then that was february okay so and then july already there july even got her yet already made 397 already and then got her yet so i already made you know about five thousand dollars uh in this, this year okay so i know you guys are probably wondering okay is this worth it all right i'm going to say yes and no and the reason why I say yes and no is because it all depends on your location. It all depends on your market, where you at. Her, I'm in Kentucky. So in her, we get all the seasons, you know, we get summer, winter, uh, spring, fall. It gets cold, we get we get a lot of uh, snow, a lot of rain, stuff like that. In the summertime, it's hot. So this vehicle is seasonal um, here in my market. So from like March uh, to like September um, is when I can rent this out because, you know, the weather's nice like today. It's nice, sunny. People want to rent this out. but from like October to February, it's cold. So it's raining here, it's snowing here. Nobody's gonna rent this vehicle, okay? Especially, I don't have a roof on it, um, but even if I did have, even if I did have a roof, nobody would rent this out if it's snowing, okay? Or if it's raining, all right? So this vehicle is seasonal. Now, if you're somewhere like in Florida, where it's hot all year long, or you're in Vegas or LA, it may be a good investment because it's gonna be hot all year long. So you can make money on this all year long. But here in my market, um, it's seasonal. So I can only rent this out about six months out the year, okay? Which in my eyes is not really worth it because I need vehicles that I can make money on the whole year long, okay? So not just, you know, six months, I need vehicles that I can make rent out for the whole entire year. So in my market, um, it's not worth it, all right? And I'm actually probably going to sell this soon just because, you know, it's, it's not, I mean, it's, break, it's making money. You know, if I make at least $600 a month, I pretty much break even on this. 
So, but my goal is to make a profit. So my goal is to make anywhere between, you know, $1,200 to $1,500 a month, which I am doing that, you know, but you can see, you know, when it's cold for those months, I'm not making no money. So when it's been, I'm making no money, I don't want it. For me, it's a bad investment, okay? So just to make this video to talk about it, because a lot of people have been asking me, you know, how does my slingshot do? Is it worth it? Is it a good investment? And I kind of just want to show you guys, you know, it is very cool. It is very, it turns heads, people like this but it all depends on your market. Also, in other markets, uh, it may be very saturated. There may be hundreds of these, you know, uh, and if it's saturated, it's a lot of them, you gotta keep dropping the prices, lowering the prices, and it may not be worth it, you know. Now, I do know people who rent these out outside of Turo, uh, people who do private rentals, and they rent these out like hourly. You can make more money that way versus on Turo, you know, it's every day, every 24 hours. So maybe in private rental may be worth it, you know, but I don't, I don't do that. You know, this is on Turo right now, I only rent on Turo. So just want to make this video to talk about it because so many people be asking me about my slingshot. You know, is it worth it? Do I make a lot of money on it? Is it a good investment? And I'll say the answer to that is, you know, yes and no. You know, it depends on your market, depends on where you live, depends on the weather, and also depends on, you know, how many of these there are. Um, luckily, I'm fortunate enough that in my market, there's only two of these, me and another guy. And the one he has is a manual. So right now, I'm the only person in my city with the slingshot, you know, that is automatic, okay? I'm the only one. So there's no competition. But like I said, it's, it's seasonal. I can only make money during the uh, hot months, you know, summertime, springtime, that's pretty much it. Uh, this vehicle will be sitting for months so when it get cold. So like November, December, January, February, for those several months, not making no money at all. It's just sitting, collecting dust. And in my eyes, it's not worth it, okay? So, so, I'm, I, so I probably will be selling this. Uh, I don't really want to, but I'd rather get a vehicle that I can rent out all year long, make money all year long, versus this, you know, being seasonal. So this is what I make this video. I'll just talk about it and kind of show you guys. And I'm going to take this for a spin. Just because you guys can kind of see that you guys have never been in one before. Like I said, they are fun to drive. So let me go ahead and kind of show you. So like I said, uh, that's how back up camera. Pretty nice. We'll go ahead and put it in the drive. So this is the automatic. Um, also with this, let me go to her. Like I said, I do got navigation, which is pretty cool. Go over here to the music. Uh, got AM, FM radio, which is pretty nice iPod, I also have Bluetooth, okay? So, uh, it's pretty fun to drive, you know, it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a spin. Also, it is push and start, you know? So, uh, you know, it's pretty fun. You know, so this one kind of show you guys, you know, the plane shot. So right now it's a nice, pretty day here. It's not running out. So I'm gonna go ahead and ride it and enjoy it. But I just wanna make a video to talk about it. Just kind of show you guys, you know, so, you know, honestly, you know, if I could do it all over again, I probably wouldn't have got this slingshot because it's seasonal, okay? And like I said, and even though I'm making enough money to pay the car payment and make a little bit of money left over, uh, like I said, I can only make money half the year. So it, it ain't really worth it, okay? So I probably was gonna be trying to sell this or trade it in soon and get a, a actual car big, okay? So again, uh, if you like content like this, uh, please like my YouTube channel. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification button for content like this. I will be posted all the time. You can also find me on social media, Tony Luxury Cars. Um, I also am doing consultations, so you can book a consultation with me for a very small fee. Uh, doing one-on-one -on -one consultations and also have a tour course that you can book as well. So again, like this video, share, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, I'm out. Peace, guys.